Welcome to a special edition of Anglican Unscripted, episode 545. I have with me G. Behim, the new bishop, and I'm going to have a little trouble here, of the Church of Confession Anglicans of a very difficult New Zealand name to pronounce in New Zealand. And uh, I thought we could have a little time here to talk. We're actually, it's about 9 a.m. your time? 9.30? Yeah, right. Okay. Well, it's a whole day uh, your day ahead. It's Monday where you are. It's Sunday where I am. And I thought we could have a little chance to talk uh, uh, about your new office as bishop and uh, kind of the complaints that I'm seeing on the internet that how dare they border cross um, GAFCON onto the New Zealand properties. So let's, nice. let, let, nice let's have a little you. talk. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, Jay. Um, let's talk a little bit. Uh, you are at what church in New Zealand? I've been the minister at uh, a church, St. Stephen's in Christchurch, which is the South Island of New Zealand. Okay. Uh, what big city is that near? I'm uh, to... well, Christchurch is supposed to be the big city. We've only got one big city in New Zealand, so Auckland has about a million people. All yeah. the other major cities are, are much smaller. Christchurch used to be the second biggest, but we had a, a fairly serious earthquake a few years ago. The population went down, but I think we're the third largest city in the in the country at the moment but not big on the world scale no it's not i, I wanted to give uh, our audience just a little uh, i'm putting up a little graphic here of, of where your church is and where auckland mm. is and uh the, i mean it kind of knows where christ church is because that's the the most famous city for for outsiders of new zealand and whatever peter jackson hasn't made famous by his his movies down there um yeah, sure. let, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about uh gafcon came in and said there needs to be a, a diocese here that represents what's um good of the old-fashioned anglican communion because from I, what i've read and heard of reports in new zealand uh the current anglican leadership down there has done a, a poor job for the last 20 25 years and has been hostile to conservatives like yourself i I wouldn't put it like that, Kevin. Um, it's it's been difficult in New Zealand, as I think mm -hmm. it has right around the world, in terms of uh, different positions within the the church trying to discuss and debate over what what to do, uh, and the issues of human sexuality have bubbled around for for quite a while. Um, uh, but it culminated last year in the general synod of of which I was a member, so I, I take some responsibility. Uh, they passed a motion which permitted. Uh, canonically for the first time, the blessing of same-sex marriages and same-sex civil unions. Um, they'd worked, I think, pretty hard to, to try and make sure it was a, a decision which everyone could live with, although it was clear that not everyone could live with it, sadly. And, um, uh, and that sparked the moment where a number of uh, clergy, churches, lay people had to work out how they felt they could best respond uh, in accordance with their consciences and to what had been done. Uh, and there was you know, great sadness at that particular time because there were some who felt they could no longer in good conscience remain part of a structure which had, had made these decisions. Um, and then the decision had to be made about what, what they did. Did they go off and do their own thing? Did they um, carry on as independent churches? Did they form some uh, kind of new Anglican structure? And in the end, there were a number of us uh, who decided that we, uh, well, we'd never changed in terms of what we believe and uh, practice. We, we hadn't changed. I, I don't particularly like the language of we left uh, because it sounds very divisive. And although I know there's an element of truth in it, our feeling is we were left behind as the, the official Anglican structure here moved uh, further than some of us felt we could go. Um, but we decided to... Uh, form what's called an extra provincial diocese, which is Anglican, and uh, and then it was us who approached Gafcon to see whether they would um, recognise us, and uh, we've been very encouraged by their support and um, encouragement towards us. So it's been a difficult situation here. Yeah, it, it it's hard because we've seen this uh, time and time again in the Episcopal Church, in other parts of the Anglican Communion, and certainly now in New Zealand. Um, I tried under difficulty to pronounce the new diocesan name. Can you do that for me so people know? I'm going to put it here in the screen so they can see it. Yeah, sure. It's the Church of Confessing Anglicans, Aotearoa, New Zealand. And Aotearoa is the uh, Maori word, Te Reo word for uh, New Zealand. 
Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes people from overseas find it more difficult to pronounce, which I understand. Uh, so I think the only the only correction I was giving to what you said, Kevin, was um, I do think uh, the leadership in New Zealand, as it seems to me from outside, mm -hmm. has uh, behaved better than in some of the provinces where, as a conservative, I definitely feel that efforts were made to hold us together. They didn't just run roughshod. Uh, I'm still you know, really sad and disappointed at the decisions they made. I feel like it is walking away from the formularies we've always held, the doctrine we've always um, uh, held. Uh, and that's serious, and it's had serious consequences. But I think the discussions were tried to be entered into uh, with integrity and those sorts of things. It, it just sadly weren't able to come to something which held everyone together. Yeah, it's hard to watch this happen in a church because the church um, is divided at this time of whether it wants to mimic culture or show a division from culture. And... Yeah. Um, we see certainly in Australia the, the same type of situation going on. That Australia has uh, voted, for the most part, to have same-sex marriage as part of the culture. It's happened here in America. It's happened in Europe, obviously. Um, yeah. And it, it's hard for the church sometimes to stand up and say, "We're not going to go that far." Yeah, you know, yeah, we want right. to, we want to show a separation from culture and to show that uh, God not only desires a better way, but can help provide a better way in that. Yeah, um, yeah that's it, right. it, it, it's, it's hard to watch this. Uh, there have been some complaints by the Anglican leadership on the ground in New Zealand that says this is border crossing. You know, we're sorry you're unhappy. We're sorry you had to leave. But, you know, don't try and, and set up a GAFCON uh, footprint in New Zealand. What, what do you say to that? Yeah, that's right. I mean, there had been very little, I think, from the... the ACA and ZP, that's the original Anglican structure in this province, um, uh, in the aftermath of what went on. But I think last weekend, because it was the consecration and a number of overseas bishops and archbishops came over for it, uh, that seems to have been the point where a, an official response has come. And um, yeah, the, the two of the three archbishops of, of the province of ACA and ZP wrote a letter and an article came out during the week as well, which had some quotes from the archbishops, uh, which yeah I think has been made public, and uh, I think says in no uncertain terms what they think about what's gone on. Yeah, it was sad yeah. to read. The whole thing's very sad and distressing. What well, do you have a response to that? Uh, no, except to say I understand the. There's pain when there's division, isn't there? And mm -hmm. I think we all understand that. Uh, we try and put our best foot forward. We've, speaking personally and on behalf of our new diocese, we're not wanting to enter into arguments or debates sure. over things. We want to get on with uh, sharing the good news of Jesus with the people of this country. And we want to do that alongside brothers and sisters in Christ, wherever they are. So, um, I understand there's a level of sadness. I understand that um, what for us was a real encouragement as brothers and sisters in Christ from across the globe came and joined with us and stood alongside us as we um, had the consecration was also the source of pain and discomfort for others within the existing Anglican structure. And we're not, we don't wish for that. Um, uh, I thought there were a few things perhaps that were said that I thought were unfair and, um, but I understand that that's, that's what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about your diocese. Uh, tell me about how many churches are in it and um, uh, how you're planning to grow. Um, we've got 12 churches. So we formed the diocese with 12 churches, which were mm -hmm. a combination of some churches which had left completely uh, as churches from the pre-existing structure. Some were made up of groups of people who'd left one or two different churches. Uh, so we formed with 12 churches. There's a few other groupings at the moment who are looking to affiliate, but there's a there's a process to that. So at the moment, there's still the 12. Uh, how are we looking to grow um, through gospel work? Well, we um, we want to make sure that we leave behind the debates and uh, arguments that have plagued us for a long time and get on with faithful ministry. We're about, as I said before, proclaiming Jesus to the to the country and. Uh, getting people to see that he's the savior and, and lord that will make the difference for their life and that they need so that's what we're going to get on with the business of doing in the coming days amen stop asking me what i'm against ask me what i'm for totally you know, yeah you know 
Well, I do want to thank you for your time. It was very generous of you, uh, uh, New Zealand time, to, to, to Skype me up and uh, have, have a great conversation and, and to finally meet you. I hope to see you at a, a future GAFCON event. I know there's one coming up next spring. That'll be fun to attend. Uh, you've been watching Anglican Unscripted. This is episode 545.